The Horrors of Our World From the sadistic savagery that humanity has proven capable of to the cruel majesty of nature itself generate a sum of terror that far exceeds the tolerances of the everyday citizen. And though these aspects may be horrific, they pale in comparison to the inexplicable evils of our time. Those impossible, incorporeal shadows that simply can't be explained, that have enraptured the imaginations of men and women to exist in our collective consciousness as twisted nightmares and chilling possibilities. My name is Mr. Mysterious, and these are five disturbingly perplexing ghost videos. The Torquay Museum, home to dozens of artifacts from the pages of classical history, has a rather unfortunate history of inexplicable interference, ranging from the disturbing apparition of a female ghost hovering around the remains of an ancient Egyptian mummified child, being unintentionally captured on camera, to fingerprints being discovered on the inside of a previously sealed sarcophagus. A string of such hauntings has pestered and amused the staff who have, in true English fashion, simply accepted the abnormalities as a fact of life. And almost a year and a half later, one of these disturbances was finally caught on camera. Taking place in the museum's gift shop, two staff members were present at the time. Watch the left side of your screen. From a seemingly stable display stand, several of the museum's leaflets are spat from the shelf to the floor, leading to bemused stances from the staff. Notice that the door to the shop is shut and that there is very little active at the moment in the room. It is extremely unlikely that a wayward breeze simply knocked these cards to the ground. As one of the confused staff members approaches and bends to pick up the wayward cards, several dozen more are suddenly ejected from the shelf onto his head, leaving the man shocked and confused. Watch the postcards again. They aren't simply knocked down. They burst forward from the display stand with an unnatural energy like a deck of playing cards being bent at the edges until they explode forward in an erupting flurry. At this point, the staff decide that things have once again gotten a little strange for them, and they, perhaps wisely, choose to exit the gift shop rather than risk the very real possibility of a paranormal paper cut. Our next destination is the city of Perth in Australia. This footage was recorded in a dimly lit parking lot, captured via automatically operated CCTV, and was uploaded on the 19th of November, 2015. Claimed to be 100% evidence of a real ghost by the uploader, there has been some controversy as to its authenticity. In the footage, over the span of around a minute, we see a thin, white figure gliding across the car park, stepping through both vegetation and vehicles. Due to the poor quality and low frame rate of the recording, it's not possible to gain a clear image of the blurred creature as it steps across the car park. The white apparition remains out of focus throughout the video. However, in several of the frames, it's possible to make out a vaguely human-like visage, and its ghostly proportions are distended and stretched far beyond the standard anatomy of a human. There have been several possibilities proposed, ranging from examinations of the motivations and possibilities of the apparition to more mundane solutions, such as the possibility that the creature is merely a fluttering newspaper caught by the midnight breeze a reflection of the lenses behind the camera's glass, or even a large white moth flitting past the camera, which would certainly explain the unfocused nature of the creature in relation to its environment, if not its humanoid shape and glimmering appearance. In the end, this footage is undeniably disturbing, 
and a definitive conclusion is unlikely due to the poor quality of the recording. Whatever this creature is, we may never know. Are you afraid of hospitals? Sharp, steely knives, sterile beds soaked countless times with blood, bile, and assorted other fluids, and cold, hard-eyed doctors and nurses that see patients as possibly more than mechanical problems to be rectified. Between this and the simple truth that hospitals are a common location for tragic and untimely deaths, is it any wonder that they seem to be something of a hot spot for paranormal activity? For this first video, we're traveling to Honduras, to a teaching hospital known as the School Hospital Universitario, where a photographer stumbled across a truly disturbing sight while recording in late April of 2016. In the footage, we see a tan individual peeking out from behind a doorway and eventually walking out into the corridor. On closer inspection, the individual appears to be incorporeal. We can see clear through them to the corridor behind. The individual steps out into the corridor and seemingly vanishes as the photographer backs away, clearly shaken by this incident. It's theorized that the individual, who can clearly be seen to be humanoid in appearance, is the unquiet spirit of a doctor from the hospital's past, who had, at some point in the past, committed suicide. Apparently, the doctor in question is something of a local myth. It's said that he haunts the corridors, moving between the patient rooms to flick the lights on and off. Terrifying? or merely irritating, it's hard to say. We've all heard rumors about scary apparitions roaming old castles, as this video will prove. It was taken in one of the best examples of Elizabethan architecture in Britain, a building named Longleat House. In 1733, Lady Louisa Carteret married the second Viscount Vemuth of Longleat House. She had a number of servants. One of them was a footman. He was very devoted to Lady Louisa, and she recognized his fine qualities. However, the other servants were jealous of his privileged position and told Vemuth that the footman was having an affair with his wife. Viscount, a man known for his hot temper, flew into a rage. Some accounts state that the footman was ambushed and thrown down the spiral staircase outside the library. His body was buried in the cellar, and the Viscount told his wife that the footman had left without saying a word. However, she knew that wasn't true, so Lady Louisa spent night after night searching the building for the missing man. Not long after, she died at the age of 22. It's the phantom of Lady Louisa who is the Longleat House ghost. Just like this video is showing, the corridor outside the library is where this ghost can be seen, which is where the footman met his death. However, the video you're seeing is a very clear hologram that is made to replicate what people have been seeing for centuries now. It's also worth noting that this is not just an imaginary tale. In the early 20th century, when central heating was being installed, a body was discovered buried in the cellar. It was wearing the uniform of a footman from the time of Queen Anne. It is said that the bones were collected together in a shoebox and buried in the local churchyard. Though we so often associate ghosts and the paranormal with the fear of uncertainty, and assorted varieties of unnatural terror. It is, perhaps, important to remember that despite the stigma of ghost stories and their usage in works of fictional horror, very few ghost sightings actually result in any direct harm. Aside from a few dozen jump scares and the occasional sliming, 
the various ghosts and ghouls that we have observed seem to do little more than irritate and tease. Perhaps these unknown manifestations have a sense of humor. For our final video, we're delving into Mexico, specifically a branch of the popular retailer Blockbuster and the struggle of one man to restock the shelves following another day of business. Armed with a cart full of cut-price DVDs and an assignment, the employee sets about his work, though it appears that he's not alone. The first oddity in this video is the cart itself. Watch the bottom left of your screen. This juddering, unnatural movement is strange enough, but the employee doesn't notice. Then, a sudden push sees the cart skidding along across the floor. That gets his attention. For a while. But eventually, he goes back to work, shrugging off the abnormality. But not for long. Keep your eye on the leftmost portion of the shelves that the employee has just stocked. The DVD falls off the shelf seemingly pushed by some invisible force. It is placed back, but falls again. Then another, this time on the back shelves, and another in the foreground, followed by the first falling yet again. At this point, the employee is truly spooked and hastily makes his exit from the obnoxiously haunted shop front. While each of these individual aspects can be attributed to many things, stored kinetic energy in the wheels of the cart releasing at the right moment to send the cart wheeling forward across a possibly sloped floor and potentially crooked shelves resulting in the falling DVDs, it's important to note two things. Firstly, the direction the cart moves in and the direction the DVDs fall in are directly opposed. It would take a significant coincidence for the store's floor to have been built incorrectly and for the shelves to have also been manufactured poorly. The second is the pattern of events. For lack of a better term, the entire series of events occurs with superb comedic timing. It is unquestionably amusing to watch the employee growing more and more disturbed by the perfectly timed occurrences and it's really not much of a stretch to attribute these actions to those of a poltergeist of sorts with a playful temperament. There are tales older than time that talk of trickster spirits that amuse themselves by teasing the hapless and the unfortunate. And while such stories are usually disregarded as little more than imaginative fairy tales, it is definitely possible from examples like this footage to see how such tales developed. So, a spiritual prankster or a series of disturbing events? I leave it for you to decide. From playful spirits to malevolent dead doctors, there are things out there that we simply don't understand. Be sure to keep your eyes open. You never know what you might find lurking just out of sight. If you find it mysterious, share and like this video. Also, be sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss what's coming next. As always, thank you for watching.